to my autumn Ulta video. I'm really excited to share this with all of you. As you can see, I have started with this gorgeous wooden triangular altar piece, which I recently got from Killstar. And I have my advanced potion making notebook, which I was really excited to get one of these. <laughs> the geek in me loved this. And I'm also using this art print, which we got a couple of months ago from the Witch Casket. I'm sure you guys will remember I loved that print so much. And I have the Book of Shadows notebook we also got from the Witch Casket. There probably will be quite a few items here from the Witch Casket, including this little bottle as well, which I really like the colour. I was going for a kind of bluey, blacky, purpley theme really with this altar. Then we have this lovely black candle holder, which initially I put here, but I did actually end up moving this. I just felt it was too dark in the middle there. And my small cauldron, which used to be my bath bomb from Curiosity Society, I believe. And then I have my wooden tarot card holder. <laughs> Trying to think of the word there. And I decided to pick the Wheel of Fortune to go in here so that I was manifesting positive change into my life with this altar. That was the intention anyway, you know, manifesting positive change and flowing with the seasons. Then we have my cute witchy spoon, which I got from a shop on Etsy last year. And I also put down some pine cones as well that I had picked up. And actually, I think I used them on an altar I had last year as well. I really like the little pine cone addition. It just is nice to bring the outdoors inside, I think, in that respect. Especially when it's dried. I like dried leaves. Then I have the wooden spoon, which I also got from the witch casket, which I ended up changing. I really like it, but I felt like it actually probably would have been better in the kitchen. And my small camera right crystal, which initially again I put that over here next to this little cauldron. And then I also placed my astrophilite crystal there as well. I thought I'd try and show you guys how beautiful the flashes of blue are in it, but it just would not show up. So <laughs> it is there. You can just sort of see it when I pop it down. There's a little flash of blue in it. Then we have the black wooden pentacle altar item we received as a witch casket extra a few months ago and I thought that would look quite nice, actually I haven't had a chance to use that on my altar until now. And the sticker of the doors to Moria, which I love, it's this beautiful holographic sticker I got from Etsy a few months ago actually, but it's so pretty I don't want to use it as a sticker, I want to just keep it on my altar, it's just got such beautiful colours to it. And then this gorgeous Aura Quartz Tower, which you guys remember I got last year, love her, she's so beautiful. And then I decided to put my new Spirit Quartz in here initially, but I just thought it was so small, you couldn't really get the impact I was going for. So I moved the candle to the side just to bring a bit more light into the centre of the altar there. And I put down this gorgeous crystal from Mickey Made It, which I love. And then I decided to swap the spirit quartz for the skull candle we got in the mood box a few months ago. I just thought actually the colour and the size of this works really nicely here, so it holds it quite snugly. My little spirit quartz down here. Initially, at this point now, I was thinking maybe I have too many different colours going on, I wasn't too sure. Then I popped the opalized fluorite tower I have in there. Fun fact for you guys, I have really sharp elbows. <laughs> then I decided to pop another little pine cone acorn area down here, just again to bring a little bit more of Mother Nature in. I do love adding that to an altar if I can. And then we have the gorgeous wooden pentacle item which we recently got. It is actually to hang on the wall but I thought it would be really nice to pop it here in the centre at the front of my altar. And then I decided to bring out my chalice burner from Glastonbury. I actually got that a few years ago. I really love that item and it's so nice actually to be able to display it now. I've never actually been able to do that. So I thought it would be great to light it so I actually brought out the 
Glastonbury incense I bought, which has resins and woods and dried herbs and things in it. It smells amazing. It smells really, really earthy, which isn't a scent I'd normally go for, but I thought it'd be nice to really connect a bit more to grounding. Then I decided to add this phosphosiderite tower here and I moved the camerarite tower over. It took me about nine attempts to light this burner, but once I did, the smell was just incredible. So here's a bit more of a close up for you of what I finished there and then. I have changed it since and I will include a little insert of that for you. I'm just looking at the top there. I just really liked the simplicity, but also the calm energies that actually came into this, which is interesting because that wasn't really my initial intention to make it quite calm. the updated version of my altar. As you can see, I've added another phosphosiderite tower, I've added my rose quartz aura sphere, and I've added some smaller crystals, I've added my Mickey made it moon phases, I've added two small spheres, I've added my large amethyst, <laughs> I've added a few more crystals as you can see, my sujulite, another phosphosiderite sphere, another spirit quartz, and then some small items I recently got and my little fortune telling cup as well that I also got from Killstar. So then I just felt really inspired to continue and to make another altar right next to it. So I actually got out my cauldron from WW Ceramics, which I love her stuff, it's amazing. Popped my Kunzite tower down initially, and I just thought I'm gonna get out every crystal tower I have. So here's my pink Aragonite as well. I just thought they need an airing, <laughs> you know, they need to be seen. There's my Howlite and my pink tourmaline tower as well and I have another one which I popped on the other side. I just really felt like they'd all actually been in a suitcase since I moved nine months ago so let's just get them all out. So here's my scholarsite tower as well. Just beautiful. This is what I wanted as the calming energies actually. So there's my favorite flat aura quartz tower and my favorite aura jasper tower i love those two so much just their energy is amazing so it's amazing to be able to look at these every day and then we have my small pink amethyst and my small pink lithium as well which i popped there and i also added my selenite and my rose quartz aura tower and my amazonite tower which is a recent addition and then my few lights. So at this point I was just getting all of my towers out, just like, right, let's put everything, everything here. <laughs> and then I tried to show you guys this really adorable heart-shaped rainbow moonstone. It's so flashy, but I just couldn't catch it in the light for you. And then I added my pink amethyst tower as well. I know some people are a bit sick of seeing pink amethyst, but I love it. And then we have my beautiful clear quartz heart. I mean, she's gorgeous. So I got her in the sale and I absolutely love her. The clarity is just amazing. And then I added my opalized ball right here when I swapped it over. And yeah, I was really happy with this. So here's a close up for you of the towers. I have added a couple smaller crystals. As I say, I just decided to get all of them out. So I just have a couple of smaller chips and pieces that I have added, but this is the main focus that I had was to really just bring all of these energies in together to bring this really calming, almost angelic quality to this space. Which I think is a really nice contrast to the altar, which is literally right next to it, which I just showed you, and I think it's beautiful. So yeah, it's really nice to, to look at both of these altars in the morning. So let me know what you guys think, and I will see you in next week's video.